Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. Today is November 2nd, 2015, and today's Monday morning. First week of November, looking at the economic calendar, two major numbers coming out today, GBP 1130 South African time this morning. Uh, PMI number coming out of the Great Britain. Um, manufacturing PMI number, not particularly the most important number, but something that's going up on the on the list of things that are coming up. And also in the U.S., 5 p.m. South African time, we have a PMI number, manufacturing PMI number coming out of the U.S. So not really major numbers, these these two numbers, but especially after last week's, um, let's look at the graphs. So um, we're looking at the Euro USD. We're looking at a daily chart, and this goes back six months. And if you look at here, you'll see that the extremities are between I mean, this was a one-time effect of going to 117, but if you look at the extremities between 115 and 108, so that's a 700 pip range, uh, which is not a bad range to be trading with, okay? Um, altogether, if you're able to hold these moves uh, after a couple of weeks of trading, uh, you can make some decent money in it, okay? And that's what a lot of people have been doing. So less they've been trading less the uh, the uh, short selling the scalping kind of uh, uh, trades but they've been doing more swing trading and you know something like this you could you could day trade um, some of some of the more volatile moves you could day trade but you know when we're looking at a longer period of time uh, we're having a harder time with that so euro USD trading within a 700 pip range uh, all in all uh, 7 to 800 pip range uh, but you know, with all said and done, if you're buying the bottom, selling the top, you'll be doing okay. So over the long run, but you know, you just have to have patience for it to follow through, so on and so forth. Looking at the GBP, got a little bit stronger towards last Friday, as you can see here. We rallied right here, and we're at 154. Um, so looking at a four-hour chart, we're uh, we were in the middle of this range just last week, and then we've just rallied to 154. Uh, question is, are we going to break this 154, 800 level up here? So that remains to be seen. Let's keep an eye on this. If there's more favorable numbers that are coming out of the GBP, maybe we could see ourselves going to 156. But still a decent, you know, tight range. Not Nothing really breaking out, nothing really, you know, jumping in my face. However, looking at the GBP, uh, uh, the GBP Japanese yen, we're at the top of that range and we're on multi-week level here. So, um, you know, we're at this top of the range, dead top of this range, even though we've spiked here. Um, you know, the question is, will we continue going higher? Um, so that really remains to be seen um, and also uh, something that needs to be developed and keep an eye on. So the GBP USD and the GBP Japanese yen need to be continue to look at. Looking here at the gold, gold is just selling off to 1140 as you can see here, just trickling down from this nice um, rally to 1183 and we're back down to 1140, namely because the markets, the equity markets are going higher. So, you know, nothing, uh, you know, not, not, not to say that it's it's not going to continue rallying at 1140. It looks a little bit more favorable to buy at these levels. Uh, just make sure that it's consolidating before you do buy. Um, but we have to look at the Dow Jones also to see if there's going to be a sell-off and thereby uh, there's going to be a rally in gold. So as you can see here, looking at the Dow Jones on a on a daily chart, we rallied right back to 17,688 uh, here. Uh, and then we've just, you know, Friday we took a little bit of a slide and now we're just trading a little bit lower uh, 150 points, nothing to really write home about, but um, what is really uh, something that we should write home about is this huge rally that we've been able to rebound. Um, so going into November month, uh, it's usually a sell-off month. I would say that we'll sell off to 17,100, at which point we'll uh, rally between Thanksgiving and, and New Year's, which is generally what we end up doing. Looking at oil here, oil dipped below $44 last week and then just bounced right up above and it's trading at $46. So again, this is another case in point where if you're trading the range, you could really make some, some cash. And every time we hit something that looks like 
you know, we're going to break something out on the downside, we just rally right back. And this is very reminiscent of the Euro USD of uh, a, a threshold that I've placed uh, right here, just like you, if you could see here in the Euro USD. Uh, let's try to uh, draw this so that you can see this a little bit better. Um, right here, the Euro USD, and right here, the, the oil. Um, and basically, you know, this kind of means that it really hasn't breached. Okay, it looks like a smiley face here. Uh, but it really looks like it hasn't breached these levels. And they're just bouncing right off of them. So this is something you have to keep into perspective and, you know, just realize that it's happening. Uh, and these lines are not etched in stone. Uh, that's why trading is an art and not a science because ultimately speaking, you're just gauging the market as best you can, uh, and that's the best that you can do. And so looking up into this week, we've got lots of things coming up. should be an exciting week to see how the Dow Jones is going to affect, how the GBP USD, the GBP Japanese Yen is going to unfold, and how gold is going to uh, to see if it does bounce or not. This is Fred Ray's Hackett CM Training. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.